So I've been really getting into Asian pears, guys, in the last three or four years. And uh, this is a fruit that I really like. In fact, I like them more than most, uh, most pears, most apples, uh, most of the stone fruits as well. It's a really awesome fruit. And uh, you can see on this young tree here, it's actually got quite a few fruits on it. And I've been really enjoying this color of them that when you grow them yourself, they're actually like orange. And normally when you pick them, there may be more along the lines of this, which is not yet orange, but really uh, either green or brown, and yet mine are orange. This is the variety here called Chojuro, and you can see this young tree really hasn't grown all that much at all this year. Um, you know, it did put out these new limbs, but the growth has been so small um, because of this heavy fruit set. And that's actually, I think, a big benefit in the long run of this tree is I don't really want these fruit trees to grow too vigorously, too quickly. You know, instead of, if you look to my right here, you can see some apricots and plums and different things. I've had the summer prune and kind of slow down their vigor and help them to get, you know, some fruit set for next year by summer pruning. But overall, I'm just, again, I'm really impressed with this Asian pear here, and I want to do a taste test. This is really the first, I think, well-ripened Asian pear off my own tree. And I think when to pick these is pretty simple, just when it comes off easy. Um, if you're picking them brown, wait until there's no green left in the skin. You know, if there's any green in here, it's just not a good idea, I think, to pick them. Uh, they're still good. You know, that's where you kind of get them at the store is when they're kind of greenish or mostly brown. And uh, they're still great like that. I love the flavor. But I wonder if this is gonna be significantly better. Um, so let's put you guys down and we'll cut this thing open and see if the flavor is far superior than uh, the quality you can get at like very few Asian markets. It really is a, a fruit that's quite difficult to find, to be honest with you. Um, it is a fall fruit, so you should start seeing them now, at least in my area. So here's a nice little shot of the inside. I'll get you guys this. Quite a beautiful piece of fruit and I think they call them Asian pears because they've originated somewhere in Asia. And they're related to pears. They grow um, very similarly. You can graft them onto the same rootstocks that uh, Asian pears or other European pears are, are grafted onto. Additionally, um, they're susceptible, I think, just as much to fire blight as other pear trees. And it's a bit of a shame uh, because we do actually, we did get some fire blight this year that was recognized. You can see actually there's a, a wasp on top of the, the pear here. Really is interested in the nectar and the sugars of this, I'm sure. Um, I just don't want to get stung. If I shake him, maybe he'll, he'll go somewhere else. Then again, he may sting me, but I want to try this before the, the, the wasps are coming in. Uh-oh. Wow. There's a much more pronounced pear flavor, Asian pear flavor in this. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, It's more sweet. You can tell there's some sort of nectar in here. It's a lot like honey, I think. It's a firm flesh. And it's like a lot, it's a lot like an apple, not a lot less like a pear. It's not grainy. The texture is really uh, crisp. 
and smooth. It's like a crisp apple that tastes like a pear. That's sweeter than uh, both of them. And has a really interesting Asian pear flavor. I can't really put my finger on that. Um, now if I eat just the skin. Hmm. Yeah, so the inside flesh is really where all that flavor is coming from. I've kind of said this before, but it, a lot of these fruits, for whatever reason, remind me a lot of like cinnamon. There's like a real cinnamony, spicy flavor to some of these fruits. Some kind of spice. I think that's what this Asian pear has. That Asian pear flavor that gets intensified. It's really good. It's really good. I would say this is uh, it's at least an 8 or a 9 out of 10 in, in terms of all the fruits I grow. This one's up there. Um, it's one of my favorite fruits. It's nice and refreshing, but it's also sweet. It's got a great flavor to it. Uh, the texture is fantastic. They're crunchy. They're crisp. They're very juicy. I mean, this is like, I don't know how anyone wouldn't like this fruit. I think the orange skin is a nice little look. Uh, maybe it could have hung on the plant a little bit longer until it fell off. I don't know. But uh, definitely a ripe Asian pear. I'm really happy to be growing these for sure. Um, I wish I had another tree. Actually, I think I do um, over in the corner of the yard. So maybe that'll bear next year for me or in the future. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this little video here. This is the Chojuro Asian pear. Find yourself a variety here, guys, that is fire blight resistant, um, that's easy to grow. You're going to have a lot more success with these pear trees. So I'll talk to you all soon, all right? Take care, everyone. See you for tomorrow's video.